In this video, I'll show you the basic features of the DevExpress token edit control. Here, I have a sample mail application. The to field is implemented via a simple text editor. You can only enter and edit plain text strings here, which is probably not enough. To implement the behavior seen in modern mailing clients and services like Microsoft Outlook or Google Gmail, let's remove this editor and replace it with the DevExpress token edit control. This editor analyzes the text entered and applies custom validation logic to it. If the text passes the validation, it's transformed to a visual element called token. I'll start with the maximum expand lines count. This property, available via the editor smart tag, allows you to specify the maximum number of lines the editor can occupy when there's not enough space to display its content. Let's set this number to 3 and launch the app. I press the Enter key to stretch the editor vertically over three lines. As you can see, the editor grows only until it reaches the maximum lines count. If more lines are needed, the editor displays scroll buttons that allow you to navigate through these lines. The first thing you probably want to do after you've dropped the editor on the form is to set up separators. Without separators, the editor will try to validate the entire string entered, which is definitely not what you want when you're entering several email addresses. What you want is to validate each address separately. So let's call the editor smart tag and click this link to edit separators. For instance, let's set a comma and a semicolon as separators. This means each time the editor comes across a comma or a semicolon, it will consider the following text as a new text block that should be validated. To sum up, the separators help the token editor to divide its text into multiple text blocks, each of them validated separately. Next, handle the validate token event. This event allows you to implement your custom logic based on which text blocks will be validated. I use the regx class object to check whether the entered text is an email address. And let's see how it works. I start typing email addresses. Some of them are in correct format and some are not. Now I drive the focus away from the editor and it validates each text block. You can see that emails in correct formats are now transformed into tokens. A token is considered a single element, so once it's created, you cannot modify its text, and a single backspace button press deletes the entire token. By default, the editor supports history auto-population. This means if a text block has once successfully passed your validation, an end user doesn't have to completely re-enter the same text if needed. If an end user starts typing the same text, he'll see a drop-down list with suggested tokens that were already added. You can also set multiple predefined history items. These will be available from the application startup. To populate this history, click the corresponding link within the control smart tag. Each history item has two properties. Token is the caption. Tag is an object associated with this token. In this example, I'll enter email addresses as token captions and contact names as tags. Now if I start typing an email address that matches an item stored in history, or simply enter a white space, the editor will suggest tokens I am probably looking for. 
I can use keyboard arrows to select the required token. Another cool feature is its integration with DevExpress flyout panels. These allow you to peek into any token and get additional information. Here, I have a flyout panel. I use the editor smart tag to assign this panel to the editor. and handle the before show pop-up panel event to populate the panel with different text content depending on the token focused. And here it is at runtime. Any token focused now displays our peak panel. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And thank you for choosing DevExpress.